the idea of a national composer is a very odd one to me. I don't quite understand really how a nation can define itself through a composer. Um, certainly everything I've learnt about Manushka via this opera does not make him particularly Poland's national composer. Um, and indeed, he seems to be um, subversive, bold, courageous, uh, with a profound social conscience, and probably rather against nationalism, I should think. Um, after all, we're all just tribes, families, races, nations, moving through bits of the earth, putting our roots down every now and again in a borrowed patch of the land. This part of the land where I'm sitting now no, no more belongs to the Poles than it belongs to anybody else. It's borrowed. It's not ours. So I think Manushko absolutely represents a much more liberal sympathy in the subject that he chose in Paris and in the way that he went about writing it. Um, that said, uh, there are many characteristics uh, uh, um, of early 19th century Central European tradition about the piece which are joyous, beautiful, lyrical, romantic, festive, as well as powerfully dramatic. There's a huge Italian influence going on here as well, of course, uh, and one hears very, very strong um, um, Italian Im images all the way through the piece, but not only. Um, the plot, the drama that he chose, is significant. All major works of art deal with the essential human stories which never change. The issues are always the same. The issue of church, state, army, fighting, politics, manipulation, corruption, all of these things have always been with us and always will. It's what the church was invented for, to be powerful. Um, so of course it's impossible not to see them within this event. And this way of presenting a, um, a piece anyway is not so that people will see from the outside what's going on, but so in a way they're much closer to living through the middle of the issues and having to make their own choices. Who, who are the good people? Who is getting it right? And when you read the signs, the values hung around the necks of all of the actors, so they look like victims of the, of the Chinese um, Cultural Revolution, for instance, or, 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 or the Inquisition in Spain in the 16th century. When you read those words, you have to ask yourself, what is my reaction to that word? That, I think, is impossible to avoid. We need to experience the issues, live through them, so that we gain empathy, so that we understand what the issues are, that we live through them so that we can achieve more mature, more valued judgments and better able to act. I'm very keen on loosening up the, the, the ritual of opera. There are so many formulas and rigidities that get in the way of it spontaneously speaking to an audience. And so many things that get in the way of everyday people, all sorts of people in the city passing through the doors and coming to it. So I'm trying to put those two things together. Um, I'm trying to find an informal way of performing a highly sophisticated art form so that it speaks directly um, and intuitively um, at its best, so that you don't need to study, you don't need a background, you don't need to be educated or cultured. You just walk through the door and you should understand. I'm very happy, of course. The Manushka's opera is in Polish, the language of the audience. It's a shame for all the viewers that they'll have to read the subtitles. <laughs>